We found it. Hello, we're back from Make a Star 8. My ankles are itchy. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to share that. I've never been to Russia. No, no Russia. Um, yeah, my ankles are itchy. I think that's a good segue into me addressing the fact that this whole series is going to sound like ASMR. And it is, oh god, I'm going to get attacked by rats. That is, oh, a juicy 12 meters. Anyway. <laughs> um, I love making excuses, as you know, when I'm doing a bit and I just continuously make excuses. But the real reasoning is just purely just that I can't figure out the acoustics in this room yet. Which I will fix over time. I have limited resources right now to fix it. But I am working on it. But I also don't think that the like ASMR sound is a problem necessarily. Because it's so hard to say. Because I know some people put on these videos when they're going to sleep, which is like, chill. Obviously certain ones are more chill than others, which is why I don't tag anything as like ASMR, because it's really not. It just tends to work out that way. And as soon as you tag something as that, then it leaves room for people to say that it's not a good example of that. So if I just never say that it is, then no one can say that it's not. If you, you know, catch what I'm saying. Because it's really not, uh, intentional. <laughs> it's mostly also just me spending all day recording something and recording at like 9.30. <laughs> And not wanting to yell. Because <laughs> somebody is where I am ladder, it is truly because I'm just like, there's nobody home. I can just be very loud. And it doesn't matter. But I don't like to be loud. So it just works out that way. I don't know. I'm going to say I don't know like 10 times in this video. I hope you're ready. I hope that doesn't bother people. I'm sure it bothers someone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's just like not putting a name to what I'm doing because it's not intentionally one thing or the other. I feel like that's a way that makes sense to explain it. Hopefully. Let me know if that makes any sense. Yeah, cause like, I don't even um, like to you know, call the channel a certain thing. I like channels that are more than one type of content. In fact, I usually get bored with channels that are like, just an example, because I s like soap making. Like soap making is interesting, but I have to be in a very specific mood to sit there and watch a soap making channel. Whereas I find like, a Hod Podge channel. I'll use Super Mega as an example because I really like their stuff. Um, I don't get tired of watching their stuff because it's not just games, and it's not just live action, and it's not just like podcasts. But, I mean, it is those three things. With the occasional like completely random stupid video in there. That's honestly what I really enjoy, is when you don't know what you're going to get when you click on some of their videos. Which is honestly a little scary sometimes. I really, um, I'm going to specifically talk about the Armenian Minecraft video. I did not know what that was going to be when I clicked on it. I was a little concerned. <laughs> it turned out to be a really good video. It was honestly a little wholesome. But, I don't know, content that is just like interesting to click on because you don't know what you're gonna get and like channels that you subscribe to because you know they're gonna have something different that'll appeal to you no matter like what they're doing 
because they're not always doing the same thing. I'm like, those are the type of channels that I really like. So I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm not doing enough of like a craft thing or something because I know I say like at the end of a video, you know, like and subscribe for more like video games and craft stuff. But it all loosely, like, well, first of all, crafts are very time consuming and expensive. So that is part of the reason why I've sort of drifted away from that. But I also still do them. I just feel like it's somewhat boring to come to a channel that only does, like, tutorials and things. And I also just, like, I don't know. There were, Cause there were a couple people who were like, you should not just take your channel and start doing something else with it. Like, for example, the gaming. But I still did it anyway because there's no real smooth way to transition from one genre to another unless you just flat out like set the precedent that you're going to be doing that. Which, like, I keep a schedule. I do, like, two... Well, most of the time I keep a schedule. If anything ever, like, gets cancelled, it's usually, like, a f what I refer to as a Friday-type video. Which is, like, a craft or random activity or, like, live-action thing. And that usually gets cancelled because something went wrong with it. Not because I, like, didn't have an idea for one. But the gaming video is usually pretty easy to keep on a schedule. So I try to keep it on like a two game videos and then um, a live action or tutorial or something to break it up. Just because that's what I do. I mean like, none of this is monetized so it's hard to commit to any more than that because I know some channels are putting out like so many videos a day. And as I have mentioned, I have a day job. <laughs> Not that I'm doing it right now, which is what is giving me more time to kind of like reflect on what I'm posting and hopefully kind of make some of it more interesting, arguably. Well, at least the Friday videos. Some of the Friday videos were starting to get really poorly put together, I think. And I'm not thinking of a specific one. I'm just saying sometimes I didn't entirely commit to whatever I was planning to do or I did commit to something and it didn't work out and instead of just you know doing something again next week I said oh just I'll do this other quick thing instead and it kind of shows I'm getting like very into this discourse I hope that I'm doing okay in Katamari right now I'd like stop paying attention I just started autopilot playing um Gosh, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm doing terrible. Um, yeah. So I, I like doing different things on a channel and not just doing the same thing. Although I know that, like, gaming content is very hard to get into for some people unless, like, it's a certain game or something that they're into. Which is why I don't- I didn't just like start just doing that or anything like that. Because like I wouldn't watch that if that was all I suddenly did. So I wouldn't expect anyone else to. I really don't know where I'm going at this point. Um, okay. Here we go. Ooh, I just saw how big I am. Nice. Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I can't go under here. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's my whole reasoning. Behind the channel and also why I'm not um, ever going to take on a title of doing a certain specific thing. Because it leaves too much room then to to either do it in a way that people don't like or in a way that bores people when they're like, oh, that's all you do? Like, okay. 
which isn't even like an insult on my own content because I know I just got into like the fact that I was kind of half-assing a couple videos which is just a separate but also similar concept but I don't really mean the content itself is boring it's like the themes get boring it's like you can only watch so, well, I probably shouldn't use watching as an example because that's what you're doing with videos. It's like you can only eat so many bowls of mac and cheese before you, like, need to have that day where you have a salad or something instead. <laughs> Hopefully that, I think, makes sense. I think having variety makes the whole channel a little more palatable. Although it may not be as easy for like collecting first time viewers who are like, oh, you do a couple different things, nothing I'm really entirely into yet. Whereas I don't have like a, a fan base, it's like friends and random people that watch stuff. So like they watch it because it's me, but that's really kind of what I hope in the end is that people watch it because it's me, not just because I'm like playing a game that they like or, well with the tutorials I do hope it's because people want to make the thing that I'm making. I really really love it when people actually make something that I do in my tutorials and then they like show me or tell me. In fact I was very sad when I went to, um, Actually, I went on Twitter one day and I saw a picture of someone who had... I thought that they had used my Shion tutorial because it, like, they had done the same design. And I don't just mean the pattern because it was obviously just like a repurposed Kyrie pattern. I mean like they did the same material choices and the same like accenting on the shoulders and the same like number of buttons and stuff. Which I sort of had modified from the original. So I was like, oh, I feel like this person used my video. So I like DM'd them, and I was like, hey, I really like how your um, Shion looks. Did you, do you, I don't, even, I don't remember how I phrased it, but I was really just like, oh, did you come up with the design yourself, or did you s use someone else's? Because I have a video on it. And they like, ignored me. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm genuinely curious, and also it would make me really happy to find out that you would use mine, which was, I don't know, even if they hadn't, I would have liked to know how they did come up with theirs, because I like talking about that stuff. <laughs> I think it's interesting. I didn't make a video about it, I didn't think it was an interesting design. So, I don't know. I just like want more interaction, I guess, regarding content. I'm hitting a wall and I don't even know it. I don't want just like, ah, oh, that's a thing that's kind of cool, and then go on your way. I even say, hey, you just be like, hey, this was kind of cool, and then go on your way. And I'd be like, wow, glad you thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like as I'm spending more time making stuff, I'm like more interested, and I want to make stuff that is more interesting to people. Because when I think about it, I'm like, I've been on this site for a long time, because I did stuff, if you, you can go back and look, some of it is, a lot of it's private or got deleted, which I don't think I ever talked about the fact it got deleted. Um, but I was doing stuff like back in, I don't know, 2015, and people were, honestly, there were a lot of people who were into it then. And it wasn't anything like what I'm doing now, but it was kind of like the popular content for the time. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm just saying that I've been on here a while, and I have like feel like I've observed so many like things and trends and stuff. And 
I want to start like taking what I've learned and putting it into what I'm doing. I don't know. Like maybe I will start paying more attention to how other channels are doing their commentary. And yeah, something I've always noticed, I really, really would like to do more videos that have more than just me in it because I know that sometimes I get a little burnt out trying to talk in like Let's Plays for the whole video. I don't think I'm gonna finish this level. I'm not big enough. <laughs> I think I got not focused enough. Um, yeah, I'd like to get more people. And just really kind of keep the channel broad, but also go more into the videos themselves. That probably doesn't make sense, but it makes sense in my head. <laughs> Where am I missing all the stuff that I'm supposed to be grabbing? Hmm. I'm like very lost. Okay, is this just one of the scenarios where I'm gonna get a way bigger Katamari once I start actually grabbing stuff? I suppose I could turn it around in three minutes. I mean, it all has to be down here though. Okay, we're gonna skip that. Oh, I don't want to get stuck in here. Can I pick up those trees? No. But I'm just bumping against everything. Goodness. Can't pick up that. I can't pick up that. Am I missing an area? There is that construction zone up there. Okay. This is definitely making a difference. The cars are definitely making a difference. I still can't pick up a lot of this. I think I remember I failed this one recently because I missed this area. So I'm definitely going to get everything in this area. What are those? Breakwater block. What is a breakwater block? Am I right? Are those supposed to be like huge fossils? Those were huge. Oh, there's actual huge fossils. I feel like I should come down off the hill again now. And... Oh yeah, I can definitely pick up some more stuff here, but I need to not get stuck. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, okay. Got some stuff to de-render. Oh, a minute left? I am not gonna beat this. Oh gosh. I have four meters- oh, I have four meters to go in. 40 seconds. Yeah. Um. I think this is a big not a chance moment. Hello, trees. Trees are definitely gonna make a difference. Ooh, I'm really, really close to getting this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 15. Oh my god, it's so close. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes. We barely got that. Yikes. With three seconds left, I got it. We've really been pushing it this time. This is dramatic. I mean, I feel like it's more exciting to struggle right up until the end. Not that I'm doing this on purpose. You'll also see... Um... My scores, because this is now on my other save file. 
my score from last time was, yeah, twice the size. We're gonna make Stardust. Which is just, if you haven't played Katamari, it's just the option you pick when you don't want to save your record. So now, I believe we're gonna make a star 9. Which we will do in another video because that one is a good 20 minutes if I'm remembering correctly. So I will see you guys next time for that one. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe all. And check out the video on the left, which is my most recent upload, and the video on the right, which is a video YouTube has picked just for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!